Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Fabcom. Welcome back to my channel. This is a series of Creed Vintage Review, guys. If you are um, looking for a vintage review, I already uploaded for five to six vintage um, Creed reviews, guys. And thank you, those people are always coming back and doing a comment, guys. I love, as, as you can see, guys, I love to interact with you. I commented, I replied to every comment, even the haters, guys. Fragrance is subjective. If you don't like it, that's your opinion. If I like this, this is my opinion. All of this, guys, is just my own opinion. And everything is subjective. And I honor and respect your opinion. And today's video, guys, is Royal Mayfair. But guys, I am very transparent. I will show you the presentation and the batch. As always, guys, box is the same. What's different is the front. The name of the house. Royal Mayfair, this is Belbity, guys. The name of the house. And that's your front and that's your back. And this is your top. That's the name of the house. And your bottom is very important, guys. This is where you get your batch code. And this is this is the 15W01 batch. This is the 2015 batch. And your typical 120ml. Yeah, the front guy he has velvety, same with the box color. Royal Mayfair 120ml and the name of the house and that is your back your bottom guys and this is where you see your butt code right over here um 15 w01 and this is your cup guys the color is gold click into place and this is your second generation atomizer guys as always, as you see, this is your first generation atomizer called as fire hose, and this one is the second gen. See, the first generation has Creed logo, and this one is second generation, doesn't have one, guys. So, and let's check the atomizer. The atomizer is not as good as the first generation, but it's still good, guys. Spray a good amount of mist. And that is your Royal Mayfair Creed 120ml presentation. Welcome back. Yes, that is our 2015 W01. A 15 W01. This is really a uh, very complex, very bold Royal Mayfair, guys. This is really a niche, niche take of Creed. This is not for everybody. This is for alpha male, even alpha male. This is the love and hate of the Pragcom. I even don't really like this, guys. I have a 5 ml decant I cannot finish last year and this month I tried to understand this and finally I last for two hours <laughs> okay let's break down the notes guys the base first the base guys is eucalyptus cedarwood sandalwood and orange the base there is a really nice gross and floral aspect in the mid and your opening in your top, guys, is pine tree, lime, and gin. Yes, your opening, guys, your opening. Your opening, guys, is that gin and lime and eucalyptus. Imagine you are wearing a big paper of exactly medicinal, very potent, bold annoying clothing kind of gin and eucalyptus smell the big before up guys really with a gin if you pass an hour of that and because it's last for lingering 
annoying, glowing, one hour to one half hour projection of Big Sleep for Up. On top of that, there is Gin and Lime. Very potent, bold. I cannot understand this. I cannot really pass one hour before, guys. I always scratch it. I'm going to wash it after 10 minutes because it's really a medicinal to the annoying kind of Vicks Bay for a vibe, guys. But there is a but there, guys. If you pass an hour, there is this very nice sandalwood orange and the Bulgarian rose. The rose here is very beautiful. If you pass an hour, you will get that vibe. A very nice sandalwood orange and a rose in the dry down. That will carry off. The gin and eucalyptus is still there, but it's sitting in a box. It. The main player is rose and sandalwood with a mint of orange there with a vibe of eucalyptus and minty. That gin and eucalyptus vibe is boxed. If you pass an hour or two, it will be it will be okay. But guys, I try to pass it. I get a good compliment last three weeks ago. That's why kind of like my rating is going up a notch because of that compliment after four hours. Okay guys, to wrap this up, this is not for everybody. This is all for those very bold, confident men. 40 years old, half to be exact, can pull this up. Because that gin, lime, and very medicinal Bix Bay for Rub is just there for a two, one hour or two. So this is for an alpha man. 30 below, I cannot see can pull this off even ladies i cannot see the ladies can pull this off this is really a love or a hate in the frag comp so i will rate this guys a four out of ten before guys it's just really three out of ten the three or the four was for i got a compliment one compliment he said is really nice so i don't understand why did he said that maybe it just but yeah i considered it really nice and it's a long lasting the two guys is a long lasting and because it lasts for eight hours four to six hours is just really projecting it's whipping six to eight hours is a skin scent there will be you know a close encounter but in a good CH guy, a good projection, that's why the three is the performance and the four is a long lasting and a compliment gator. I would put this a four out of ten guys before it's just three maybe. But because of the compliment, I put one top because I pass the three hours to four hours mark and I get a compliment during my four hours and five hours mark. So, again, I would say I will not recommend this. Please, please, please don't blind buy. You will waste your money. Maybe you're going to throw this in the garbage because it's really a very annoying, medicinal, glowing. I read a lot of um, um, reviews on this in the Frabcoms. They really hate this fragrance, guys. Me too. I will not even i can fold this up i will not rank this as a five out of ten this is just only a four out of ten that is me guys a four out of ten a six to eight hours longevity a good siage and a good dry down but a very bad opening bad opening guys that is me patrick t see you again on my next creed vintage review Guys, always, always remember, it's not how you look. Nah, it always how you smell. God bless. God bless. And peace out. Boom.